The Su-34 fullback has become a critical asset for Russia in the Ukraine war, frequently deployed in combat but sustaining significant losses that appear staggering. Despite these setbacks, the attritional nature of the conflict means that Russia's larger industrial base and resources allow it to endure better than Ukraine. While the loss of Su-34 highlights the intense fighting, Russia continues to adapt by deploying longer-range munitions, reducing aircraft vulnerability, the ongoing high attrition rates on both sides underscore, the protracted and devastating nature of the war. High Stakes in the Skies, Su-34 Fullback's Role and Losses in Ukraine the Su-34 has become what many observers describe as the backbone of Russia's air force in the Ukraine war. Indeed, it is a warbird that is most commonly recorded in combat in the contested skies of Ukraine, and it is a plane that has sustained an astonishing number of losses. The question is, what does that data point mean for the overall war effort? It's hard to tell given the amount of lying from both sides in this interminable, bloody war. One thing is clear, though, both sides have suffered an extraordinary amount of losses in terms of personnel and equipment. And there doesn't appear to be any end in sight of the suffering. At least, not any time in the next few months. The Su-34 being decimated by Ukrainian air defenses, the attritional nature of the Ukraine war means that, so long as the combatants can sustain these high losses for a protracted period of time, the losses will not be catastrophic. Since it is the Russians sustaining these losses, and their industrial base as well as the country's manpower and commodities bases is far greater than that of Ukraine, the loss of the Su-34s in combat will not lead to defeat. It's true that the Ukrainians are crafty fighters. They have utilized NATO-provided air defense systems at the front of their war against Russia in creative and effective ways. That's why, since February 2022, it is believed that Russia has lost 26 Su-34s. These numbers were collected until February of this year. As I have reported in these pages, though, the Russians are adapting to innovative Ukrainian tactics as well. One such adaptation is to deploy longer-range glide bombs with higher yields. The fact that Russia is producing one less Su-34 compared to the number of Su-34s that were lost over the last six months in Ukraine is ridiculous. At best, it shows how utterly incompetent most analyses of the war from the Western perspective have been. At worst, many Western writers are spreading outright propaganda designed to further distract easily distracted audiences from the fact that the war is going poorly. America should be encouraging their Ukrainian allies to make a deal while they still can with Moscow, not fixating on any single data point, such as the fact that Russia has lost a large number of Su-34s. Regardless of how many Su-34s they lose, the Russians are still winning.